In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an ergonomic stand that you can use with a drawing tablet, an iPad or a laptop. You can even use this as a standing desk because it will adjust quite high. We've done all this for about 60 pounds, about 60 US dollars or less, depending on a couple of little bits you might already have. We're going to use off the shelf items and a couple of little DIY bits to bring it all together. And I'm going to take you through how I did it and show it a little bit so that if you want to create this type of stand, you can do it and spend a lot less than is typically charged if you buy these off the ship. As you can see, I can move this up and down and adjust it as a tensioner on the actual arm itself. And I can move it to where I want so that when I'm drawing, I can move it as really nice and comfortable. I can raise it, I can get it at the perfect height for me while I'm working. So this is the tray I've used. And as you can see, it's a flat metal tray and has a couple of arms on the end. I then have that mounted to a gastro arm that uses a VESA mount. Now this bracket comes with a VESA mount attachment, so it can attach straight to the gas mount. So these are the two off the shelf components that you want to purchase. Now the tray comes with these arms, but they're only attached by a plastic clip. So what I did here under these two foam pads, which I've just stuck on is a couple of locking bolts. So I've just bolted this on and you can see the bolts on the reverse where I've bolted them on there. Very simple, a couple of bolts straight through. I did have to drill out the plastic mount a little bit to get the bolt to fit through. But very simple very straightforward and that means that these are now secure because the plastic mounts i wouldn't trust the plastic mounts that came with this and this arm if i had a heavy laptop or drawing tablet on this now the most important modification i made was on this section at the back what i've done is i've put an l-shaped bracket put a bolt on it with two nuts either side of the bracket and we've attached that under here on the gas arm itself and then that tensions and sets the angle for the tray itself. And all I've used for that is a piece of aluminium strip. I drilled two holes and bent it with a pair of pliers and a bolt with a couple of nuts. If you don't do that, you'll find that the tray dips down and it moves and you won't be able to tension it. Now, the other thing I've had to do to make that work is here, I've had a longer bolt and I've put it in because the bolt that comes with it won't be long enough to add the bracket to and another bolt. So I've added a slightly longer bolt to it and that bolt then allows me to add the bracket. So a longer bolt with an L-shaped bracket, but not on the end and that tensions it and that stops it moving around. So with this system, you have a drawing tablet or a laptop stand that adjusts up and down where you want it. The gas arm I recommend actually comes on a mount just clamps to the side of your desk. And you can just about see it in the back there. And that actually allows you to set this arm quite high. So if I wanted to, I could set this as a standing desk and use this as a standing desk. So it's a very cheap way to do a standing desk for a laptop or an iPad as well. Now, the only other thing I would probably do if I was using this for a laptop is I'll take a Velcro strap and just strap it across the top there when I've got my laptop on it. But because I use this as a drawing tablet stand, I don't have that issue. So if you're using this as a drawing stand, you can get these little magnetic pen holders, which you can stick on the underside of the tray so you can keep your drawing pen where it's easy to find. And if you're anything like me, you're putting it down all the time and you can never find it when you need it. So again, I'll put a link below for that little pen holder, very, very cheap. And that's an optional extra if you're using this as a drawing tablet stand. Now, I'll put some affiliate links down in the description. So if you found this helpful, make sure you click on them because that helps me uh, earn a little bit of money to compensate for the time taken to show you how I've done this. So there you have it, a very simple drawing tablet stand that you can also use as a laptop stand or an iPad stand.